Yeah, by the way, this mod was made by the same guy uh, that's the lead developer for Half-Life 2 Overcharged. As you can see, here's Arctic Alex stepping out of the helicopter that you were standing next to when Eli gets killed. What is all the depth of field? We will take you to Captain Maxwell. He will explain the current situation and objectives. Let's go. Well done. But this still Why no, is everything so dark? For security. I don't know. I'm pretty sure light is actually supposed to pass through the door because you know uh, it's open. We suppose Juliet had these coordinates at the moment of arrival. So now when it the flashlight only works on his buttons and his eyes. To index the enemy position. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she was just looking to the she, left. <laughs> she does have pupils. They were just not facing us. Okay. Uh, I can't see my guns, but I assume they look amazing. I mean, they look fairly average. Okay. Oh. Away uh, we go, I guess. <laughs> We we don't we don't get inside APCs in the Arctic. We just sit on top of them yeah. while the guns pointing at our general. Oh wait, direction. we're about to go through a tunnel ah! too. Oh, oh, that was like Gordon just got grazed a haircut. The top, yeah, that grazed the top of Gordon's hair. We're only like seven minutes in, and I've already screamed at least four times. Seven minutes in, and we've done literally nothing except walk. What is this guy listen. doing? What is this driving? <laughs> oh, he fl we we okay. No, um, uh, is it our okay. turn? Are we driving? No, we're not. There's no steering wheel up here. This guy's just doing whatever he feels like. So, is this it is the scripted route, yeah. <laughs> He's not in view of command anymore, so he's like, you know what? <laughs> you want to see a trick, Gordon? Was that a stuffed animal? <laughs> hey, we call it taxidermy in the real world. <laughs> Why is there a taxidermy cat? We still have nightmares about that cat. <laughs> I wasn't aware it was like a bobcat. Nobody ever specified otherwise. What is that blueness? We'll storm the central entrance. Mr. Freeman. Is that the sun? From behind. I Thus hope we'll not, otherwise the, the, the combine have gone too far. The flashlight does absolutely nothing. It's a good thing we have it. It's about as useful as the fire extinguisher. What did he say we had to do? Oh, was he talking? I don't think this is what we have to do, but I'm doing it in- ARMS! Gordo arms? Okay, if if an overcharged guy was able to do this, then there's a way that people could do it for the default buggy and airboat in vanilla Half-Life 2, which is something I've been complaining about on Twitter. Are you messing with the keyboard? No, I'm not touching it. This is the worst vehicle in any game I've ever played. Remember how <laughs> you were does. talking about vehicle sections in the overcharged video? Yeah. This is gonna be a nightmare. I'll let you play that oh part. Oh my gosh. Let me just say, it's the sacrifice for having arms in the vehicles. <laughs> it's you have terrible maneuverability. This is why Gordon always controls it telepathically. Why is he more fluent in using telepathic than his actual physical arms? He had 20 years of stasis practice to work with it. Oh, another one. This one's color tinted with the, the saturation slider in paint.net. That's like the Moldavite Beyblade Stadium from Metal Fusion Episode 18. What a weeb. <laughs> Your turn, because apparently this is a vehicle section. So... Oh, have wow, fun! <laughs> uh, where are we going? I don't- I wasn't listening to him. I would also like to point out the fact that now I totally understand why the guy driving the tank was having such a hard time up here. <laughs> Oh look, a dead guy you, you just slammed into. I, sorry. You probably broke his kneecaps. There might be loot in there. For quickly goes. <laughs> oh, I've been conned. Mew and possibility of loot quickly goes. 
I mean, you just described what I said, so... Quickly... I've just never heard that phrase before, and now I'm obsessed. Quickly tend... goes... Okay, hold on. I need patience and grace if I'm C going can to... Can you please go forward? <laughs> oh my god. This is... I'm going forward! <laughs> I'm literally only pressing W. <laughs> well, start pressing something else. Okay. 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 It's oh, like that it, noise is gonna get so annoying. I can barely hear it because Parsec always quiets the game whenever I talk because I guess that's part of cutting out my audio so I don't hear it. <laughs> oh, so this is where we're going. Yeah, by the way, Gordon, the wall will just magically implode the second you get near it. I mean, maybe they- Hello? He could have told us that. I wasn't listening. Why have we fallen into a pool of Listerine? Yeah, that's the twelfth time I've screamed. Why is nothing happening? I don't know. Was I supposed to drive in there? I assume so. I mean, if it was loading, I don't think we could go into the main menu. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh... <laughs> Please don't tell me this is during the cutscene. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I learned something recently. This might actually work. Host frame rate 0 0.1? Yay! <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I learned about that. Mr. Freeman, try to take on them from behind. Thus, we'll attack from two sides. That's yeah. absolutely no information whatsoever. <laughs> that was so redundant, too. He's like, okay, if we stay here and you go around back, that means we'll attack them from both sides. I'm like, yeah, what else could that possibly mean? Okay, I we go around the back. Give me one, one moment. So I guess we weren't supposed to go into that cavern that explodes when you get near it? Well, literally, why did it explode oh, opening there, up Oh, there's the back. Way? This is where we were supposed to go. <laughs> you know, when we do that video where we try to make a mod of our own, we need to remember to add tons of red herrings to the level. Oh, so that just, it's just like Leon. So it's like super disorienting because there's just all these things that look like places you're supposed to go, but you're not. I would like to point out that I would be doing so much better at fighting these head crabs and they would be dead if I could actually see anything. Oh my gosh. Screw you guys. You're going to die. Oh my gosh. I literally am and there's nothing I can do about it. Hey, you guys come in. Wait. Bro. This is the least visible video we've ever made. <laughs> I know, you're gonna have to bump up the gamma in post. Oh yeah, this crowbar's so tiny. And look at how you look at the way he's holding it. He's like holding it ridiculously close to his face. I know. He's like it's... pressing it up against his cheek right now. I wouldn't go that far, but he's holding it pretty close. <laughs> like, I'm imagining him holding it so close that it gives the impression that he's scared. Uh, uh. Oh. Imagine being able to see. I know, right? Imagine having an interdimensional cabinet. Ooh, bad guys. Can you please equip a weapon? Can you please I... equip a shotgun? I didn't know we had a shotgun. Well, we did. Oh, there it is. Man, Half-Life 3 is awesome. I know. It was totally worth, like, 15 years. They saved a lot on the graphics budget by making everything literally not even able to be seen. Wait, it's my turn. You died. Did this is a very high-budget production. Yeah, right. I climbed- I climbed No, you up. went in the vent. You didn't go in no, here. I didn't go in there because I figured the vent would be more fun, and it was oh, until I died. Oh, that's right. I remember they advertised, like, there's multiple solutions to the same problems, just like Deus Ex. 
Oh, and now we're allowed to go there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay, vehicle segment, your turn. Let me save. Excuse me, gentleman. Oh yeah, so it doesn't, like, set this area up as a loading screen until... <laughs> until we have to go through the building. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, this is a bad time for the vehicle to start being dumb. Hey, don't call it that. It has feelings. Look, there's flares that emit no light. What's it called in games when, like, light actually spreads light everywhere? Uh, that is known as light. No, I mean, like... <laughs> That's there's... how light is supposed to work. Well, I know, but there's like... There's a word for it that I can't think of. Uh... <laughs> oh, I just got eviscerated. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that feature is known as light. <laughs> Let me try this part. Let me try. Okay, hold on. I'll oh no, right Gordo back. got separated from the camera. We just saw his body <laughs> sliding down. Uh, so what exactly are we supposed to do about the Strider? Maybe wait till his weapons cool down? Or just drive right on through him? How come that worked? I action movie. Okay, who play tested this and was like, Yup! This is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm releasing this immediately. That's like the main complaint. Whenever I go to the, the Half-Life 2 Overcharge to reviews, that's like the main thing is like, was this play tested at all? <laughs> because, dang. That is an important distinction. Oh, hi, Alex. Thank goodness you're okay. So you gonna tell us what we're supposed to do, Bright Eyes? Well, now what? Oh, maybe step in teleporter. Not with the vehicle. Oh, they could have just said that. They say use the teleporter at your own risk after we get in and they seal us inside. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers for the success of the operation. I swear this is the same guy that did all the- <gasps> That's me! That's me from the cover art. <laughs> way too excited about that. Look, Ma, I'm on TV. My girlfriend's on TV too. And John Freeman, kind of. Why did it teleport us into a combine base? Did he say that would happen? He didn't even tell us to go in the teleporter, so probably not. Hi, Alex. Uh. Oh. I thought I just wasn't going to be able to assist. I don't know what he was saying, but I think what he implied was that use teleporter at his own risk because we don't know where it goes. <laughs> and it just teleported us into a combine base alone. So I don't know why Alex is here or how she found us. She wants to get out. And now the screen's black. Game over, we lost. Okay. We're on a bridge now. I guess Alex is gone again. Who knows? I mean, she kind of just was like, bye. And then just stood stationary. And no, she's we... like, let's get out of here. And then I stood near a, a closed door and then the screen went black and she disappeared. Oh, I guess she got out of here. So that door just sealed itself off? I don't know, man. Maybe Alex is supposed to be here and the game glitched. Alex is probably supposed to be here. She's probably supposed to know the keypad code. I guess we should just reload. Uh, it says we're at the Borealis already. All right, let's get out of here. Face door. Aha! I was right! It didn't load her in. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been since someone's 
Why is she? <laughs> why is she going for the small talk? We're under attack. Skyrim follower dialogue. <laughs> okay, so there we're here. We made it to the. Wait, look at it again. Everybody's. We made favorite. it to the boar eel is. Look at it, it's that's it, it's it's it. It's it. I thought they misspelled it for a second, and I'm like, <laughs> wait. Except for the fact that the loading screen didn't. Oh look, match. it's from the Half Life Two beta. I sure love assets from the Half Life Two beta. I don't know, man. I'm getting kind of sick and tired of them. Look, okay. So this guy just took all the assets that he already made for this mod and put them in vanilla Half-Life 2. Look, that's the fire extinguisher. It's the same one. He just took all the assets that he made for this mod and shoved it in, in vanilla Half-Life 2 and released it as Half-Life 2 overcharge. That's <laughs> all this is. Look, even the AGB suit is the same. Look, it's the only thing you can see in the dark. Even though it's not even an LED screen, it's just a it's label. A sticker. <laughs> it's just a sticker that wasn't coated with the proper material. Uh. Wait, the fire extinguisher. <gasps> Even Never. just saying it made it go away. <laughs> That's how powerful it is. I'm glad I turned up the brightness because we wouldn't be able to see it all right now. What is that? Is that also from the Half-Life 2 beta? Excellent question. It looked like a mutated Vortigaunt. <gasps> Maybe it was a synth Vortigaunt. That would be cool. You mean like synth from Fallout 4? No. Oh. Combine synth. There's There are combine synths in vanilla Half-Life 2. It's just not like immediately obvious. Oh, okay. But I... There was a hole, I guess. <laughs> and this is why we need proper lighting and levels. Yeah, why is, why is there poltergeist? And why do we keep going in circle? Oh, hello there. Uh, is this a boss fight? And now he's doing something to my mind. No, Freeman. Come back. Come back here now. Oh, he's like that guy from Oblivion that can speak without using his mouth. Did they also just splice voice lines together? You must go now. Oh, Half-Life 1 audio that totally doesn't sound out of place. Oh, we're back in Black this Mesa. This is literally Black Mesa. Dude, this is cool. We got sent back in time. Okay, well, back at Black Mesa. Got our crusty HEV suit texture from Half-Life 2 overcharged. Oh yeah, very. I, I like how when you go back in time, audio gets lower quality. Hey, just like the old days. <laughs> Cause you know, like the, that was it, just how the sounds sounded in the nineties. Yeah, so, it's like, like when you're a kid, when you like see a black and white movie and you're like, oh, that must be how it looked back then. They didn't, invent, <laughs> they didn't invent uh, RGB until 1973. Color didn't exist in the reality yet. I just saw- They had citizen. AI in the nineties? Yeah, it was the early 2000s. Is that the rated M logo? <laughs> <laughs> why does We're it not say going for in there. Why does We're... it say Foreman's Office and then it's the letter M? It's like the L the letter M's in the middle of the word. You don't make that the logo. Hello. Hello school bid. Get out of way, please. I do not have weapon. Very annoying. Okay. Are you sure. Just, are you just down here with the bull squid now? Yes, there's. they didn't give us weapons. <laughs> Your debuffs are immune to it. Hey, look. We were supposed to get this gun before going into the basement, but they didn't tell us that. Uh, we were never here before. No, we weren't. I don't understand. Are we just gonna skip the ba- Okay, we're skipping the basement. 
Uh, why, why was that there then? Fun? That wasn't I mean, it, fun. It, it wasn't fun at all, but... Oh my gosh. The combat is so obnoxious! What?! <laughs> I don't understand! I'm being punished for nothing. I didn't do anything, I swear. There's no way to get out of here once you're in here, is there? You just gotta APH your way out of there. I would kindly pay for information regarding how to not be in this situation. I wouldn't pay, I'd just kinda stop All right, you know what? Game. God mode! This game isn't worth playing properly. You have a very valid point. Ooh, blue! I don't understand. Oh, it's the poltergeist ghost thing from Half-Life 2 Overcharged. Oh, this door just opens after a few minutes of running around and suffering. Okay. Next loading screen or death is your turn. Okay. I would say once we get to a point where it's not like random mazes, but ah. that's probably never gonna happen. Not that I'm any better at mazes than you are, but at least I can get through them quicker. <laughs> Yeah, because I get distracted. New discovery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt my throat. <laughs> this game is injuring me. Only on oh. the discovery channel. <laughs> Audio jungle. Oh my gosh. I hate those websites so much. It's like, here's a bunch of music you can't use. Unless you pay like $300 for it for like one video and then you have to pay for it again. Where are my weapons? Uh, you got a new one so they took away your other one. That's not how weapons work! This also isn't how level design works. You shouldn't be able to make it so the player can just get cornered permanently. Did I kill him? You also shouldn't make it so that your gun blinds the player every time they kill something with it. Dang. This Take game, this f like, has more screen flash than frickin' Destiny 2. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Now we gotta wait again, man. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have saved. Yeah, save, like, right before it comes over, so we can just reload the save every time you fall. Every time? I'm only gonna fall <laughs> but the once. I forgot F6 existed. Yeah. But the wants. But the wants. Uh, but the wants. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's like that one mathematics meme. <gasps> it's everybody's favorite. Just like the Borealis. <clears throat> They're making the cake. This Who is, wants to make $60? This is, this is the day they made the cake. Look, it's the cake making machine. Wow, it was sitting there for a while, wasn't it? <laughs> Failed. They were trying to make a bird. And it, it, it apparently didn't work out. Oh no, this is when the Combine invaded Aperture Science, which I don't think ever actually happened. <laughs> oh, it was just a vision. No, see, it actually happened because there's glass on the floor and blood where the scientists got shotted. Then where are the scientists? The Gladys cleaned up their bodies. What is going on here? Red hallway. What are they waiting for? They're statues. No, they're not. Yeah, huh? Uh huh. See? Okay, there were holograms. Cleverly oh. done, Mr. Freeman, but you're not supposed to be here. As a matter of fact, you're not. What? You're not supposed to be here. As a matter of fact, you're not. Well, uh, no, I heard what he said. I'm like, then why'd you bring us here? Because he felt like it. No, that's like inviting somebody into your house and then asking, how did you get in here? Look, this is how the Borealis disappeared. 
See, it turned into actual Borealis. The game just crashed. <laughs> oh my god. That was literally the DeLorean animation from Back to the Future. Oh, we have to do the this thing again. Look, we have newfound speed mode. I just typed cheaties. <laughs> <laughs> Really done, Mr. Look at those guys. But you're not supposed to be here, as a matter of fact. Let's quick save. So when the Borealis. Oh, that was the end of the game. I'm only going That's to all save for this now. once. Uh. Was there any more episodes? <laughs>